Hey learners, last video we have discussed about the solid states. So just continuing the same unit we are doing. In last video we have done about unit cell and space lattice. We know about the space lattice now. This is a space lattice. This one is a space lattice and it has smallest portion. This is we know, this is a space lattice. And smallest portion of this space lattice is known as unit cell. So we are having this lattice, crystal lattice, and it is having a smallest portion which is repeating itself. That is known as space like this, so unit cell sorry so we are having this portion this one a single unit cell this one is our single unit cell fine uh, this unit cell has various parameters and what are they these this unit cell has a parameter we are having this one with various edge length A, B, C edge length is having A, B and C and angle are having alpha, beta and gamma the angle they are carrying that is this one angle, this angle and this angle they are having three angles they are alpha, beta and gamma fine this is a unit cell and the parameters of a unit cell next we will discuss about the types of unit cell we are having two types of unit cell number one is primitive unit cell primitive unit cell is that in which atoms are present only at corners atoms or we can say constituent particles that can be any atom particle anything that can be so primitive unit cell has constituent particles only at corners so we are having atoms only at corners the space lattice this crystal cube has atoms only at corners so these are the corners of a cube so we are having atoms only at the corner fine but in case of non primitive we are having atoms at corners plus at any place in cube that can be face center that can be on faces, edges, body, body center. So that is known as non-primitive unit cell. So in this case, what we are having, we are here at the corner, but also at a other places. We are having here at the corner also. And also in a body center, we can say that is present in a body center. So this one is a non-primitive unit cell or a centered unit cell. Fine. Then further non-primitive unit cell is further classified. Classification is further than in non-primitive unit cell. So we are having further classification of a non-primitive unit cell. So what are they? the classification of non-primitive unit cell? That means they are further divided. They are classified into three types. That is face centered, end centered, and body centered. We will see what are the face centered unit cell, what are the end center, and what are the body center. First, we will take the face centered unit cell. In face centered unit cell. Atoms are present at the corners and at the center of each face of unit cell. Fine. So how we can explain it? How they are present at the corner? So we are having a crystal lattice. They are present at the corners. These are the corners. And also present at the center of each face uh, this cube has six faces one front side two back side this side uh, right left side this one is right side so we are having one atom at this phase one at this one at this one at this and so front side here that that is a uh, represented over here and the back side is represented over here so there are six atoms which are present at the center of each face of this unit so fine and what about the end center end center has atoms at the corners and center of any two 
opposite faces how how we can represent it see they are having atoms at the center oh sorry corner these are the corners of a unit cell and at the center of opposite faces these are the two opposite faces so these are the end center of a unit cell next we are having body center body center we are same we are having at corners plus center of a unit cell so isko hum further represent kar sakte hain in the same way we are having atoms as we know this is a non primitive unit cell so we are having at the corners we are having at the corners of unit cell plus we are having at the center of a unit cell so this one is a body center so this is the uh, face center end center and body center of a non primitive unit cell uh, next we will work next we will be taking geometry of a cube how many corners it has how many faces it has how many edges and how many cube center fine for that i am taking a cube structure this is our cube we know cube has eight corners so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so number of corners of a cube is 8 fine number of faces faces i have already told you number of faces see front face back face right face right side left side and this is upper and this one is lower so total number of faces are 6 fine now what about the edges so for edges we'll be taking how we can take say how many edges are there so what we'll do see we have to tell how many edges are there so here first we are knowing the number of atoms at the edges fine so this is we are having so number of atoms are present here are see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 and this one was left 12 so these are the edges of a cube so uh, if these are the edges so these are the edges is the number of edges will be 12 and cube has one center this cube has one center so center will be having one fine so this is all about the number of cubes uh, corners faces and edges or the cube center uh, that is the geometry of a cube next is contribution of an atom at different sides of cube first uh, corner other uh, a cube has corner cube has face center cube has edge center so according to that what is the sharing how many atoms uh, are shared when atom is present at the corner when atom is present at the face center when atom is present at the center so first i'll be taking the atom is, is present at the corner so when atom is present at the corner then it is shared by how many particles this is a cube and we are showing here that when atom is present at the corner it is shared by how many atoms fine so this is here and this is for the right we are having the atom here this atom when atom this atom this is a cube this is a unit cell this atom is shared by eight unit cell sharing of this atom is done by eight unit cell we are having four below and four above so sharing is done by this uh, towards this unit cell towards this unit cell towards this unit cell towards this unit cell so sharing is uh, the cor corner atom is uh, the uh, corner of cube is shared by eight unit cell that is shared by eight unit cell this atom is shared by eight unit cell so contribution of particle will be 1 by 8 fine a corner of cube is shared by eight the contribution by particle on corner will be 1 by 8 in the same way when a uh, a face of cube is shared by how many unit cells so here will be telling the contribution of atom when it is present at the face it is shared by how many unit cell there is a atom that is present in the face so this atom which is present in the face of a unit cell this is shared by two unit cell see 1 2 so it is shared by 2 unit cell so contribution will become 1 by 
so contribution by particle on phase center will be 1 by 2 in the same way when atom is present at the edge it is shared by how many atoms fine this atom is shared by 4 unit cell 1 2 3 4 so sharing is done by 4 unit cell so contribution will be 1 by 4 fine next is contribution by particle within the body so when there is a atom present within the body so what will be the contribution it is also having at the corners as well as a body center so contribution will be 1 fine so next we will take a question on the basis of this how we can calculate the number of atoms or formula if the question is if there are uh, three elements p q r crystallize in a cubic solid lattice with p atoms at corners q atoms at cube center and r atoms at center of face of cube then what the, write the formula so we are having three atoms p q and r p atoms are present at the corners they are present at the cube centers and r at the center of face so when atoms are present at the corners we said number of atoms were 8 and contribution was 1 by 8 fine so number of number of atoms will be 1 when present at the cube center it is all 1 already we have just told you the when uh, center of face number of atoms will be 6 and contribution will be 1 by 2 so number at of atoms will be 3 so our formula will be p we are having 1 u 1 r 3 so p r 3 this will be our answer so this will be our formula of a cubic solid crest lattice fine this is all about the uh, calculation and contribution of various atoms thank you for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe